I had the woman over whom I have an exchange with to have sex with. She asked if she could sleep on the couch. I said, sure, why not? I made her at home. I took her to work. She woke me up. I got two hours of freaking sleep because of her. I didn't have sex this time. I didn't even try. Um, and all was fine. All was good. I come back home and I realized she left shit here. She left all her stuff here. So I'm like, okay, I guess she's coming back. Um, you know, she never said anything. She never said she was coming back. She never, never texted me. Never, um, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't realize her stuff was here until I, I came back after dropping her off. Well, I go to work. I work at nights. I come back. I just got back about a half hour ago. And she wasn't here, which I was actually thankful for. I mean, I know I seem to be two two minds on things. Like I, I want to be more. Like I, I mean, I want I want her to be more, right? But I really don't have the space for her. Like she was on my couch and I couldn't watch any movies or anything. Um. But it was nice having a woman here. Yeah, and uh, I thought she would help me out some way, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, get me curtains. I mean, I'd pay for everything and you know, get me curtains and, you know, I got a blanket up on, on one of the windows in, in the, in the, uh, in the living room, you know, I mean, you know, she could, you know, help clean up and I thought she would, she could, she could, you know, you know, oh, this is my Fitbit. Yeah. Uh, kind of sucks. I don't know if I really like it. Uh, anyway, um, you know, I was gonna let her use my car, but it's stick shift. I was gonna teach her. Um, and she didn't want to drive over when I dropped her off, so I drove. But I was gonna let her drive and, and teach her on the way over there. But anyway, I, I, I really wanted her to I wanted like a housewife, right? And uh, and I know I just got done saying on the other video, you know, I gotta stop wanting more. And I can't help myself, okay? I, I know. I know. It's a transactional thing. Keep it at that. My whole point of all this is, okay, wh wh why, why I even said all this is because I just got home and it all seemed pretty normal. You know, I was looking, make sure nothing was taken. You know, I was looking around. She took the beer, which was fine. That was in there for like a year. Even when I was drinking, I, 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 didn't, I didn't drink it. Um, I'm not a beer drinker, but she didn't ask me. And I looked at the living room. I was looking all around, to make sure she didn't take any of my guns or, um, you know, uh, you know, whatever, movies, PlayStation, whatever. And everything seems to be here except for the beer. Uh, she might have took a movie or something. She took a whole bunch of canned food, without asking, a whole bunch of chicken, canned chicken and stuff. I think she took every single one of those actually. She left a few tunas. Um, but that's all I can tell that she took. Uh, could be something that I, didn't, I don't notice. But anyway, um, I go into the bathroom. And all of this leads to this. I go into the bathroom. And there's shit everywhere. And that's why I'm shirtless right now. I, 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 I had to clean, I had to clean up. And I texted her, I said, what the fuck? You shit all over everything and you left, left it for me to clean up. Do you really hate me this much? Like, I would never do that to anybody. 
I'd be so embarrassed. I, I, I just, I was in shock. She treated me like my ex-wife. When my ex-wife came in to get all her stuff, I was at work again. And she just ransacked the place. Got all her shit. Like, just, just. But she didn't, but she didn't shit on my floor. So I got all cleaned up. And I just put a new toilet seat on, too. And it, and, and it was for her because I was embarrassed. I was piss stains on the, on the old seat. And so I got a new one. And, um. And and then I'm not, you know, and now she shit all over the new one. Why is this all blurry? It's because I'm moving around. Yeah, probably. So I cleaned it all up, cleaned the floor, sprayed everything down real good, sprayed everything down with Lysol after it was all clean. And now here I am, and I made myself some, some cup of noodle. You're like, well, how can you eat? When you just cleaned up shit. Well, I don't know. I'm hungry. And nature's twist. Lemonade. Uh, in case you don't believe me. I don't want to fool with... Trying to upload it. Okay. Uh... All right, let me pause it here. Let me pause it. Let me pause it. Okay, so that's the tile with the shit on it. That's the tile floor. That is shit on my floor. I wasn't fucking around. And then there's even more grace. I really don't want to show it. Uh, I thought it was. Uh, uh, the toilet where it was shit on the bowl, inside the bowl on the sides and then um, on the toilet seat itself all I want to do is get laid all, 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 all I want is, is a woman who loves me who, who is womanly who, who's, who's feminine who is clean motherly you know um, make me a dinner. Is that so much to ask? Make, make, make me supper. I I even offered for her to stay here because she her apartment is they're raising her rent three hundred dollars because they're renovating it, and she can use my car. She you know I'll, I'll, I'd make a space for her. I don't know where. You know, because the house is tiny. But I mean maybe I'd even make the attic into a room. All for her. Eventually. I don't have any money. And this is how she treats me. And I gave her hundreds of dollars just the other day. Now how am I ever supposed to fuck her again? I'm going to be thinking about this shit on the floor and on the toilet. How, how am I ever going to she disrespected me so terribly. Stole my beer, even though I don't care about it. And the food, but whatever. Even though I don't, I don't, there's not a lot I care about. I really don't care. I mean, she could have came in. Well, I care about the PC. I mean, I, you know, I hope she, you know, one of stole that and the PlayStation, uh, uh, you know. But anyway, the Tic Tac shit, what, you know, whatever. The, you know. Um... But I just, I just don't understand why I get treated so terribly. Maybe Midgal is the right way. I mean, I wouldn't consider myself Midgal, but maybe I would consider myself Midgal. I mean, if this is the women that I gotta deal with. My ex-wife, this crazy ass fucking bitch shitting on my floor, and I decided to just go ride my motorcycle and work every day of the week and just watch 3D movies and build my models and just 
peace out until I die. I mean, would I be Midgal? Maybe I would be. Because these women are fucking nuts. And it's not just this one or two. It's all of them. Uh, I just, I, 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 I don't know what to. Do. I don't, I don't. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I just had no answers anymore. I, I never had any answers, but I just don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Suffice it to say, I can't see me seeing this woman ever again. I just can't. I just can't. And now that she knows I keep my doors unlocked, I gotta find my keys and make sure I lock the doors and chain up the downstairs. There's one of those cellar doors. Get a chain for that fucking thing. Because unless she has a great explanation. I mean, this is how desperate I am. She hasn't texted me back. I confronted her about it. Let's see what she says. I don't see how it, there's anything that she would say that would make it okay. You know, and maybe in time I could fuck her again because I'd forget about this. And I'd get horny and I'd... And she looks good. See how weak I am? You see how pathetic I am? A woman shits on my floor. And I'm already considering taking her back. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. On one hand, I'm lonely. I'm horny. Especially now that I'm working out and losing weight. And I stopped drinking. But, on the other hand, these women are fucking nuts. They shit on my floor. They ransacked my house. My ex-wife. Or they're fat and have three kids by three different guys. One of them was black. Like the Tinder girl. And then leaves me anyway. For somebody else who's got a bigger dick or something. Who knows? <sighs> this is the shit you gotta put up with just to get pussy. I just can't believe it. But it's my own fault. It's my own fault. I should have took my own advice from the last video. Keep it transactional. She should have never came over here. You know... I should have never let her stay here. I was hoping she would stay, to be honest, and be like a housewife to me. And instead, she shits on my floor. Be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, enjoy the 4th of July. And for my foreign brothers, Enjoy the 4th of July anyway. Alright, peace.